Then, at his 67th anniversary, the Ba'ath Arab Socialist Party asserts persisting the fight against aggressors, terrorists and takfiris, and all their backers. In a tight ambush, Syrian Arab army kills 22 terrorists, arresting others of the so-called Jaisul Islam in the industrial Adra city in Damascus countryside. An American writer reveals implications of Erdogan's officials in last August's alleged chemical attack in the eastern Volta in Damascus countryside. Sikh Secret documents from the Western intelligence services reveal tightening control on terrorists returning from Syria. Settling the cases of 285 people after laying down their weapons in Homs, Qunaytira and al Hasak. Good afternoon, this is News in English from the Syrian Arab Television in Damascus. President Bashar al-Assad, the Secretary General of the Ba'ath Arab Socialist Party, received today the Ba'ath Arab Socialist Party leaders from Dar'a, al qunaytira and Suwaida governorates. The President stressed during the meeting that our main concern, according to the President, is to stop the bloodshed and the destruction of infrastructure. President al-Assad asserted that we have to think about the sides that affected the party as he pointed out that the Islamic project failed. The People's Assembly commemorated today the 67th anniversary of the founding of Ba'ath Arab Socialist Party. The People's Assembly Speaker, Mohammad Jihad Laham, called on all the national parties in Syria and the Arab world to channel their efforts against the Israeli occupation. Al Laham asserted the need to pick up strength in the Arab world to confront the destructive Takfiri thought. In the, its session, the People's Assembly adopted the draft law in initiating a body called the Syrian Commission for Family and Population Affairs based in Damascus. Marking the 67th anniversary for the Path Arab Socialist Party, the Syrians took to the streets in different towns and villages in mass rallies supporting the Syrian Arab Army and the armed forces in the war against terrorism. Citizens in Sahnaya, Hajjali, Ijdalit Artuz and Masakana Dimas in Damascus countryside took to the streets in rallies to show support to the Syrian Army in counter-terrorism. The participants held the Syrian flags and the Path flags in assertion to the support to the Syrian Arab Army in facing and the finance and support of terrorism against Syria. Citizens of Mr. Halu and the adjacent villages took to the streets in a mass rally on the same occasion. In a tight ambush, Syrian Arab army killed 20 terrorists and arrested several others of the so-called Jaish al-Islam and Islam army in the industrial zone in Adra in Damascus countryside. The terrorists were trying to run away from eastern Ghouta. Another Syrian Arab army unit fended off an attack by a terrorist group on a military post in Khan al killing a large number of terrorists and seizing their weapons. In cooperation with the residents of Al Ghouta neighborhood in Homs, special units found a secret cache for hiding weapons and communication devices inside a terrorist hideout and arrested a terrorist there. In Dara and Idlib countrysides, Syrian Arab army units targeted the terrorist hideouts, killing many terrorists and injuring several others. In Dara countryside, a unit of the Syrian Arab army pounded terrorist gatherings, killing many terrorists, injuring others and destroying their weapons in the periphery of the Suraya compound, north of Ataman village, in Al-Wardad village, north of Khabab and in al Jiza and at Taibri. Syrian Arab Army units also killed many terrorists, injured others and destroyed their machine gun equipped vehicles on the road between Nahlaya and Kifr Najd in Idlib countryside. Syrian Army units have targeted terrorist gatherings in a Rashidi neighborhood in Aleppo city, eliminating a number of them. Other army units have destroyed a number of vehicles in the industrial zone, Afrin and in several locations across the countryside of Aleppo. 
Moving to Homs, where competent authorities in cooperation with locals have stormed a den used by terrorist groups in Al Ghuta neighborhood, detained a terror where it detained a terrorist there and confiscated 29 grenades, five rifles, and a number of guns, in addition to sophisticated communication equipment, computers, and stolen medicines. In a Russian city in Homs countryside, an army unit has destroyed a terrorist den near a Samadhi patrol station used by the so-called Al-Qa'im battalion and killed scores of terrorists. We remain in Homs where the cases of 285 gunmen who turned themselves in and handed over their weapons to authorities were settled. The gunmen have turned themselves in as a result of efforts by the National Reconciliation Committees coming from several areas in the governorate. In the city of Al-Hazakeh, the cases of 15 gunmen were settled. The gunmen pledged not to get involved in any acts that might affect the national security. Renowned American journalist Samuel Hirsch has disclosed in a recent article uh, the Turkish involvement in alleged chemical attacks on Ismail Ghouta in Damascus countryside on the 21st of August last year. Hirsch quoted an American intelligence former advisor as saying that weeks before the 21st of August he read a summary presented to the American Secretary of Defense that talked about Erdogan's deep concern over possible failure of the armed groups in Syria and that the Turkish Prime Minister stated that something had to be done in order to push the United States towards a military intervention to halt further progress by the Syrian army. Hirsch went on to say that the American intelligence knew about Erdogan's intentions to push Obama to the red line as Erdogan's scheme was to attack Damascus during the tour of the United Nations team that arrived in Damascus on the 18th of August to inspect the use of sarin agent that Turkey supplied to terrorist groups with according to military and media information. Hirsch concluded his article by saying that according to the American intelligence advisor and other sources, there was a coordination between Ankara and Washington to accuse the Syrian government of al Ghuta's chemical attack and to distract attention from the real perpetrator. Hundreds of Syrians and Armenians demonstrated in the Argentinian capital Buenos Aires to in protest against the aggression backed by Erdogan's government on Kassab city, northern Latakia. Participants in the demonstration, which was organized under the title Save Kassab, headed to the Turkish embassy in Buenos Aires, denounced support provided by Erdogan to armed terrorist groups in Syria. Speeches were delivered, highlighting the steadfastness of the Syrian people in face of the fierce aggression on their country. Secret documents for Western intelligence and the Dutch anti-terrorism body on tightening security control on terrorists returning from Syria after information that the increase in their numbers that stir fears of the spread of extremism. The British writer Jonathan Owen wrote an article in the independent newspaper Blowing the Sirens for what he described as unprecedented risks of the return of the terrorists from Syria to Britain warning that a terrorist attack on Britain is inevitable. A very late global awakening was caused by the nightmare of the spread of terrorism which is being defeated in Syria, returning back across the world like wildfire and the terrorists are rebounding to hit the governments of the countries that fed them. Western intelligence agencies are racing to intensify security measures on the terrorists who are returning from Syria or departing to it. After the announcement by the French intelligence services, the Dutch intelligence services according to the Dutch newspaper AD, tightened security measures in the cities of Jihad according to the official label. The paper reveals information about enhancing training for about 5,000 people, including teachers and police officers, to identify signs of extremism among Dutch youth who have joined the terrorist groups in Syria and then returned to their country. 
A terrorist from Netherlands known as Yelmaz, a former professional soldier, fights and trains terrorists in Syria. More details in the following. We gaan van de sport naar het interview met Yilmaz. Nieuwsuur heeft namelijk voor het eerst een Nederlandse jihadist uitgebreid kunnen interviewen en filmen. Yilmaz, een oud beroeps... The foreign editor Ruth Bekabali of German and News discovered terrorist Yilmaz as journalist was looking for traces of Dutch jihadists in Syria. Ruzbek Abali found a picture of terrorist Yelmaz in Syria with his Dutch uniform training some foreign terrorists. What we're doing right now with, and, and the purpose of all this is uh, I was approached by a brother that, that I love and that I respect and because he knows my background he asked me could you give some of my fighters some, some, some extra uh, tips and tools, we'll supply the bullets, we'll supply everything you need. Yalmaz is a Dutchman of Turkish descent. He wanted to join commandos. He did his military service in Turkey and joined the Dutch army. Nowadays, he practices his military skills in Syria since he trains terrorists on the battle skills. Your elbow is resting on your knee, or on, yeah, on your left knee. Your left elbow is resting on your left knee. Your right knee is on the floor. If you want a little bit more support, you could turn your leg in. When you looked at him, you can recognize his Dutch army uniform, including the bird, but the badges have been changed to al Qadad. From his point of view, he's fighting and training the terrorists in Syria to have an Islamic state with Islamic principles. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. I think the main goal of... In Homs countryside, authorities confiscated 14 archaeological items in Al Mzera area in Palmyra. The armed terrorist groups had illicitly excavated them to be smuggled outside the country. All items date back to 2000 years ago and contain funeral busts and some stone heads engraved for Palmyrian persons with inscriptions that refer to the names of the people engraved. Earlier on the 1st of April, 15 ancient artifacts were confiscated, the armed terrorist groups excavated illegally with the intent to have them smuggled outside Syria, were seized in the farms area near Palmyra. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, www.syriaonline.sy. Now to the latest business and market news with Vani.